Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to be planning again this week in my Dollar Tree planner. These are the washies that this spread will be based on that inspired this spread. And I'm just putting some down in the header to add some color up top and also to cover the months on the right hand side. And now I'm going to use this shoe washi to cover the days of the week because I'm going to use something else for the day. I'm not covering the number, just the, the days. So I'm alternating the washi. And so here I'm going to use this washi. It has bows, hearts, and eyelashes on it. So this is going to be my alternate washi. And that also brings in some gold foil. Here is some more shoe washi. And it also has a little gold foil, so it helps tie in the plain shoe washi with the bows and the heart and the um, eyelash washi. So everything somewhat works together. I'm gonna use this Element doll from JD in Brooklyn as my focal point this week. And I'm going to put her element as boss. Now I'm just thinking I need a little something more. Just trying to decide if I'm going to use some of this other washi. Not for now. I'm going to put it to the side. This is a payday sticker from um, Paper Studio Agenda 52. And now I'm going to go in with the washi with the days of the week on it. And this is the last of the, this roll of washi. Luckily, I have a backup. I got this a year or two ago from Joanne, the Miss Sparkle Co. bin that they used to have. Well, my store doesn't have it anymore. They have the products available like in the aisle next to the checkout but they don't have a whole bin like they used to. So that's where I got this washi tape. And here I'm just flipping through one of the Walmart sticker books, trying to decide if I'm gonna use that. Then I decided not to. This is a sticker book, a recollection sticker book that I got some time ago at a deep discount. Um, it was so deep that I got two of them. So, and I really need to use some of these stickers. So I'm gonna use quite a few on this spread. There's the XOXO uh, banner arrow. I'm not sure what you would call that. There's just some little deco pieces. All of it has gold foil, which makes taking a photo of a spread difficult, but it does look good. <laughs> so I'm just placing some more deco and I'm gonna go back to the Agenda 52 sticker book. I need to start using those stickers, uh, that brand of stickers more also. And I'm going to cut off a couple of the checklist parts so that it will fit in the space. And I was going to use those other two on Wednesday, but I do decide not to use those. And I'm just going through the book and I see that hashtag goals sticker and I thought that would be great for Monday instead of what I had there because 
Monday is the day where I say, okay, this is what I'm going to do for the week. And I like to have those first things. So, And here's a little more deco. Because again, this is social media. I don't need a whole lot of space to write. I just need to make sure that I do certain things on certain days. And this is somewhat of an overview for me. Here I am using Colorful Boxes by The Happy Planner. This was the original one. So this was the first book. And I'm using the Black Full Box. And the black just adds some contrast. I'm adjusting the Wednesday washi tape. It just adds some contrast and gives it a little more pop and makes those areas stand out more. And here I'm deciding what box I should use next. Should I use the gold or should I use black? And I thought using black would be too much, so I'll go back and choose a gold box. And these are the three books that I used. Now I'm going to go back in with the black Simply Gilded washi tape. It's black with gold bows. So this is kind of a high-low spread, I guess. And I'm just adding a little more um, washi tape. The black kind of reinforces the line, so it, it gives it a bolder look, more contrast. And just, again, a lot of the times it just helps tie everything together. Because these aren't designed to go with each other and I'm kind of forcing them together. So you do things to help it along. Again, I'm adding some white washi tape from Simply Gilded with gold bows. Again, for the same reason. A little more deco, a little more gold foil, and help tie everything together. And it's not intrusive. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I still have plenty of room for functional planning. Here I'm using a work icon sticker from JD in Brooklyn. I love her icon stickers because they're not teeny tiny. They're um, a medium size, I'd say. And I just like that they are that size because they show up so well. They don't get lost in everything else on the page. Here I'm putting in my buffer note <laughs> to make sure I keep that filled and new releases on Friday. And here I'm just gonna put in when I wanna do my PR posts. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Papermate Flare in black. This was the pen I started using when I first started planning. And I don't know why I changed, but I really like this pen. A lot of people call this a marker. It kind of is, but I just gravitate to it. So, Not like the gel ink where you have to worry about smearing it. Don't get me wrong, it will smear, but you don't have to worry too much about it. And so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this week's plan with me and my social media Dollar Tree Planner. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.